and welcome to Aaron Quick Smarts, episode four, part two of Understanding Division for Unit Four. In part one of this episode, we talked about the division strategies students will learn. Now we're going to discuss the problem solving scenarios that students will be required to solve. Some of these problems can prove to be challenging, so it's important that students use a KWPL chart to organize their information so they know what the question is asking and what they need to do in their plan to solve the problem. Julius is making bags of marbles for the aquafoil station at the Science Olympics. Each bag can hold 46 marbles. He has a bin of 743 marbles. Let's look at some sample questions that students could be asked about this situation. How many bags can he completely fill? Well, we know that Julius has 743 marbles, and we know that each bag can hold 46 marbles. So in our plan, we're going to need to divide 743 by 46. The question is asking, how many bags can he completely fill? So those are full bags. When students divide, they'll get their quotient will be 16 with a remainder of seven. So that means there are 16 full bags with seven marbles left over. Another question students could be asked about this same scenario is how many bags does Julius need to hold all of the marbles? Now in this case, Julius needs those 16 full bags plus an additional bag for his remainder. So students have to add one to the quotient to get 17 total bags. Another question students might be asked is how many extra marbles will be left over? Now, the extra marbles are the marbles that do not fit in this full bag, also known as the remainder. So there are seven leftover marbles. Finally, students could be asked how many more marbles are needed to fill the last bag. In this situation, students would need to figure out how many marbles complete that set. So if a bag can hold 46 marbles, and we already have seven in that last bag, we need 39 more marbles to make that a full bag. Let's look at another situation that students might encounter. Marilyn baked her famous super-sized cookies for a party. She baked 17 cookies. She's going to give an equal amount to each of her four friends. If she gives out all of her cookies, what amount will each friend get? Well, we know that she baked 17 cookies and we know that she's going to divide them equally among her four friends. So we're going to do 17 divided by four. Each friend will get four cookies, but there's one cookie left over. So let's go back to that question. It says if she gives out all of her cookies, what amount will each friend get? So we're going to need to give out that one remaining cookie. Let's look at that cookie. We could break it into four equal parts. So each friend would get one fourth of that last cookie. So in total, each friend gets four and one fourth cookies. Here are some questions that you can ask your child to help them through the division process. Ask them about compatible numbers so they can estimate quotients. Talk about the distributive property or partial quotients to help them solve. Ask about how they could break apart the dividend to help them divide and definitely remember to ask them what their remainder represents. There are real world connections to division everywhere. One connection is with school buses. You can divide the number of students in the school to the number of students that could fit on a school bus. This is a great opportunity for remainders because we definitely don't want to have any kids left over at the bus stop. Other connections for division involve sitting students at tables in the cafeteria. You can divide to find the number of tables needed you can divide to find the number of students at each table. This is also another great opportunity to work with remainders because we don't want any students left out or not sitting at a table. That's all for this episode. Remember to always keep in communication with your child's teacher and to check out the cool links that we have for more information. See you next time.